Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and welcome to the 12th episode of Elevate with Nkara. In this series, myself and Cherie of Cherie Thomas have come together and collaborated to share with you our love for Ankara fabrics. And within this series, we also show you how we will elevate all of our looks for anything that we make for this series with it. So today's episode is all about aviator or boiler suits, jumpsuits, and overall. So we have quite the selection to pick from today. So I will have quite a few more patterns than I normally have, just because I have more to choose from as far as like pattern wise. Um, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and get through these quickly. So definitely just stay tuned. And when you finish watching my video, make sure you head over to Cherie's channel so that you can see what she picked out. Um, I know our pattern selection is gonna be quite different because we kind of discuss which patterns we were gonna choose from. Every pattern that I discuss is a pattern that I have in my stash and you know one that I've been looking to make for a while. But like I said, definitely check her video out if you have not done so already. But I don't wanna hold you here too long in this intro because the video may be a little lengthy due to the patterns that I'm picking from, even though I don't want it to be. But I'll go ahead and get started in the video. And if you like it, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you at the end. All right, everyone. So for the first pattern that I want to showcase, this is McCall's 8313. And the pattern description is Mrs. Rumper in Jumpsuits. This is rated as easy to sew. It is a pull on rumper and it has an elastic size waist, V-neck and dolman sleeves. And views A and B have purchase lace trim and ruffle details. And view C has an elastic size hem here at the um, ankle. So I, I've always thought that this pattern was cute. I will blow it up here on the screen so that you can see a little better. The one thing I will say is I initially thought that this was like a zipper, but this has two hook and eyes to close it off. So I think for me, I would have to add like a zipper, um, but it's a really cute and quick option, especially with this lace detail. Um, outside of the zipper, the only other concern that I have is the fact that it's cut so low and I'm busty, but this could be a really, really good vacation option. So let's take a look of all of the views here. This is the main view here. Here's the rumper for the um, shorts and the elasticated him for that view and then just the standard view with no lace so yeah it's nice and flowy which for me I prefer a flowy leg um, because my stomach is not completely flat and I feel like it helps to like balance out shaping um, so that's another reason why I've you know kind of looked to this pattern so here's all the views together and the hem is a little different for this one too it's at asymmetric at an angle and these are just straight across so this is definitely a really really great and perfect pattern for Ankara because as you can see there's very few cut lines and it's wide like at least for views D and view B and view A these views right here have very like wide legs so it will definitely display all of the prints and the coloring within the Ankara fabric. So for me personally, I think I would make either view B here with the lace or view D. I think I would get the most satisfaction out of making one of these views. Um, I really, really, really like the lace detail because although the Ankara fabric is going to elevate the look of this jumpsuit, I feel like this splash of lace would just really, really take it to another level. And it will also help break up the, the boldness and the wide, you know, prints and things like that, the larger prints, I should say. So yeah, this is definitely a great option. So when it comes to like boiler suits, aviator suits, that type of thing, 
I don't feel like I found a pattern that I would feel 100% comfortable in. I just feel like it's not like my thing. But I'm, you know, this series is also giving me a challenge to step outside of my box. So I did have to look through different patterns to see if I would make one. And so if I do, this one would be the closest one. This is Macaws 8243. And this is a Mrs. and Women's romper, jumpsuit, and belt. This to me resembles like the Blanca flight suit. I don't really make too many <laughs> indie patterns only because I don't like taping them together. But if I were to make one, and if I decide to jump out of my box and you know, out of my comfort zone, I should say, then I would make this in view B. I would make view B because we are heading into this warmer weather and I wouldn't want the long sleeve here. But let's take a closer look. It is rated as easy to sew. It has a collared button and it has a back pleat. It's a utility rumper and um, it has a drop shoulder if you're going to make the sleeves. And you know, of course it has the long sleeve option with cuffs. For the view that I want to make, it includes a sleeveless view with roll-up bands. So that's what I would use. It has side and patch pockets. And it also includes a belt with D-ring buckles. So again, this is what we're looking at. It doesn't have a whole lot of lines. I mean, you do have some breakage right here, but you can definitely just jazz that up with some nice buttons and that would take care of that. Here's the back and here is your pleat right here and your patch pockets on the back. And then here are your line drawings. So here is view A, view B, which would be my view. And then you have view C. So yeah, that would definitely be something to think about. Um, and I will certainly be challenging myself if I decided to move forward with this pattern, but it is a good option. So then we have Macaw 7936. This is a Mrs. Petite Rumper and Jumpsuit and a Belt. So this right here is a jumper or jumpsuit that I have been wanting to make for a very, very, very long time. I have never gotten around to making it for whatever reason um, but this could be a good opportunity this kind of reminds me of the previous jumpsuit but without the buttons and the placket so let's take a closer look at the description it's considered loose fitting and it has an invisible front zipper it has neckline facings and it has an all-in-one sleeve with length variations and views a which is right here, C and D have side seam pockets and view B has a, you use a purchase belt for that one versus using the tie belt, um, but you do get the pattern for the self fabric belt. Okay. So yeah, I can definitely see this being jazzed up with some Ankara fabric. Um, when I had plans to make it before, it was not with Ankara fabric, but I could definitely do this. You could choose to make view B here and use the patch pockets as well. Um, you just know to, to where to place the prints and things like that, but it's very simple. And that's what you're looking for with Ankara. I have seen this made up on different people and every one of them have looked good to me. So here's a closer look at the main view. Here is your rumper, this view right here. And this one, so yeah, and she looks pretty jazzy right here. I, I, I like it, I'm feeling this one. <laughs> and so here are the line drawings. But definitely a good option and this is a learn to sew pattern. So it's definitely not going to be difficult. So now we're over at the Vogue website. Um, I feel like the patterns that I showed you with the macaws 
are the only ones that I would truly want to make. And I'm also showing only patterns, you know, that I have in my stash. So that is what I had for the McCall. So now here on Vogue, I have almost all of their jumpsuit patterns. I really, really like them all. But I'm gonna start with this one. This one is an easy Vogue pattern. It's considered very easy Vogue actually, and it's the description is Mrs. Petite Gathered Dress in Pleated Jumpsuit. I actually made the dress um, when I was featured in Joanne's ad, but I really wanted to make the jumpsuit, but they didn't send enough fabric. It takes a lot of fabric when you're using 45 inch wide fabric. So I wasn't able to squeeze that out, but with Ankara fabric, they usually come in bundles of six yards. So I know I would definitely have enough to make this. And I really, like I said, I purchased the pattern to make this and I have been wanting to still make it. So this is definitely on the table here. It's very simple. It does have the princess seams, but I did like the fit. I would just have to make sure that I'm very careful with how I place the Ankara on the pattern pieces that have, you know, the, the front and the side seams here. So here it says it is a dress or jumpsuit that has close fitting lined bodice with princess seams, brown neck, side pockets stitched hem and back zipper the skirt is gathered and is sleeveless and the jumpsuit has a wide leg cropped pleats pants and short sleeves now i want you to notice this in this area it shows that it is not for my figure okay because i am a upside down triangle heavy at the top and smaller towards the bottom of my body i personally feel like ub would work for me because while i am heavier at the top things are going to be fitted and then it will flare out and kind of look evenly proportioned i don't know i don't feel like the dress looked bad on me either so i don't know that this is necessarily accurate for this pattern but for the most part i pretty much use that guide as a reference um, but i do like view b and i am considering it and i'll show you all of the other views so this is her in the jumpsuit and her fabric is it looks very drapey and kara is not as drapey as this so it will have much more structure and will stand out a little better. So here's the back. Your line drawings are right here. So yeah, that is for the first pattern with Vogue. And I know I said I had 10 patterns, but there is one other pattern that I am considering with Vogue and I'll show you which one that is now. So here's the other pattern. This is Vogue 1806. The funny thing about this pattern is it's pretty much identical to the pattern that I showed you minus the cropped length of the legs. Take a look at this. It's the same. It's the exact same. The difference is you get this scallop thing going on at the hem. I think that's really, really nice. And it looks like it, there's some sort of lining only because they are using a lace overlay. There is no lining uh, for the pants portion in the previous fold pattern, but the line drawings are identical. But because of not wanting to go through the trouble of getting these scalloped hem lines and things of that nature, I will go ahead and cut this pattern as well. Sometimes it's about convenience. <laughs> but yes, this is another one. And if you see here, this right here, this little triangle, upside down triangle is my body shape. And it's saying that it's flattering for this jumpsuit. Now, I don't know how it's much different from the previous one, but it is what it is. This one is close fitting through the bus, has front princess seams, white legs with no side seams. Okay, well, that might be a different. Um, an invisible bag zipper and separate pieces are included for cup sizes A, B, C, D. Now that's different, okay. So I have to take my word back on some. I need those cut si cup sizes. So if I go with one of the Vogue's, I may have to go with this one. <laughs> but yes, this is definitely an elegant pattern um, with Vogue. And so just like I described with the previous one, you would definitely um, elevate the look. 
Now we are on to Butterick. We are looking at Butterick 6881. I personally feel like this pattern is so nice looking. It is rated as average. The description is Mrs. Jumpsuit, Sash, and Belt. It has an elastic waist, has asymmetrical button fronts, a back zipper and sleeve variations, views A and B have pockets and tapered leg pants, view C has pockets in wide crop legs, and views A and C have a sash, and view B has a D ring belt. And it says complete the look with these tan wood buttons, which they want you to click and purchase. But I, I like this. I like it a lot. Oh, look at here's a close up of view C, view A, and then we have view B. Which view would I make? Well, I'll show you. I would make view C right here because of the fact that it has the nice ballooned out sleeves, the puff sleeves, and I also like the crop for the warmer months coming ahead. And also you can still wear a cropped um, style um, when it comes to pants leg in the winter by using boots, okay? So I feel like this is something that I could wear year round. And I just feel like what I said earlier about the wider pants kind of help filling out the shape. Um, I just feel like this would be better for my body type. So the sewing writing is average. This isn't a running, but this is gonna be a hard choice. But let's take a look at all of the views here. So here's that. And, and if you can see, look at this right here, how that back folds over. I'll give you a close up of that. So you have a collar that you flap over. I've made a collar like that before, so that won't be difficult, but it is different. So let's see, it's not like that on this one, but I tell you what, I think I would put the collar on this one, maybe. Should I, if I do this, should I put the collar on or should I leave it off? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> With this style right here, I think this would be super cute and I definitely feel like the Ankara will elevate this look and will really fancy it up and I think it would just be perfect. Okay, change of appearance. <laughs> yes, I had a situation, it's a new day, so sorry about that if that is disturbing to you, but back to finish up. We're gonna start off with where I left off and I wanted to pick up here with Butterick 6351. This is a Mrs. Tulip shaped open back dress and jumpsuit. Now there's only, I think there's two views for the jumpsuit. It's this view D here with the denim look going on. And then it's this one right here that's a crop length, I believe that is one well, we'll take a look at the line drawings but obviously this one right here I think is so super cute and I really want to try that tulip shaped back open back at that um, I think that'd be cute I don't show a whole lot of skin and I would probably even wear like a flesh tone cami just to kind of give the illusion but I feel like this is a really really great option because of how there's no seams cut within the bodice. You do have some shaping here with some bust darts, and then you just have your pants. There's you know a couple of pleats in here, and it uses elastic for the waist. So it is considered easy, very nice, and um, the description continues to read that it's fitted through the bust partially lined, sleeveless dress or jumpsuit um, that has French darts tulip and cut out back and back elastic waistband. Um, a, B, and C has an invisible side zipper. Gathers at the waist and side front pockets for A and B. A hem band, pleats at the waist for C and D. And then D has back closures and side seam pockets. So no provisions provided for above waist adjustments. Um, but it does include separate pattern pieces for A, B, and C 
A, B, C, and D, excuse me, cup sizes. Yes. Oh, all right. So let's look at the line joints here. This is A, B, okay, C. So I think this is, I think it's a skirt. These are definitely pants. So this is the only view I'd be going for right here. I think this is super cute, okay? So, and the fact that this has the cup sizes. So I'll go ahead and show you all the views here. And of course, this is the view that I'm going for. And again, I love the wide leg because that can show like the designs and the colors within the Ankara fabric. And uh, again, here's the line drawing. So absolutely fabulous. And the fact that it is considered easy. Love, love I'm starting to love Butterick more and more. So this is in the running as well. This is going to be her choice. <laughs> so now we have Butterick 5652, and this is another easy pattern. Um, and it's actually considered fast and easy. This is a Mrs. V neck top, dress, caftan, jumpsuit, and pant. So I would definitely be going towards view D here, which is the jumpsuit. Um, a, B, C, and D, and we're specifically speaking of D today, is very loose fitting, has a V neck, and it is a pullover, and then it has side pockets. So let's take a look here at all the views, and then we'll look at the line drawings here. So this is the caftan, but this would be the jumpsuit that I would make. It is cropped. This has an elasticated waist as well. Uh, it doesn't have a wide flare, but it's fairly simple with just kind of like the one line going down here in the center. Here are the line drawings. So this is your jumpsuit. Very simple. I think for me, this is an easy option. I don't think it looks bad or anything like that, but I do think that it would work with Ankara fabric just because there's like very few lines. The only thing that I would change if I decide to make this is I would just widen the legs a bit just to kind of have a little bit more of the fabric, fabric within the garment um, to kind of bring it out. It's a little bit too tapered for a jumpsuit for me because of how I prefer the shaping to look, but I definitely feel like this is a great option. So another possible option for Butterick is Butterick 6891. And this description is women's dress, drunk suit, and sash. The sewing is rated as average and the description is a sleeveless button front dress and jumpsuit that has pockets with flaps and sash belt dress in two lengths and the jumpsuit is cropped. Now, the reason why I like this is for the jumpsuit, obviously, and I like that there is a wide leg option. If I chose this option, which I think is very cute, but to be honest, I have to say I like the dresses better. <laughs> but if I chose this option, I would certainly just omit the bus pocket. So here is an up close view and it looks like it has a bias binding finish and has a little bit of a placket. And so that would be the only portion of the Ankara that would be disrupted as far as like cutting into the print. But if you don't have a, like a very large print, then that's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, the, it has a bias binding for the neckline finishing and also the armholes. Because of the weather, if I decide to make this, I would probably put some sort of sleeve on here. But I think this is a really, really great option. So here is the view again. And here's the dress. Here's the back. So there's a back yoke and a pleat. And then your sash belt. And there is an elastic sized waist here. And again, here's your line drawings. So that is it for the butter rig. And now we're gonna go over to simplicity. So with simplicity, I just focused on overall options because I am deciding between like the overalls, jumpsuit, and like the boiler type 
you know, uh, suit. So the first overall that I looked at with simplicity is 9590. The description is Mrs. Overall. I have been saying I've been wanting to make a pair of overalls. I want to make an original pair like with denim but I'm okay with making one in a car because I've actually been thinking about that for a while. This pattern is rated as easy. It has a relaxed fit, a straight leg overalls and ankle and crop lengths, and they have adjustable shoulder straps attaching to a bib with overall buckles. Features bib and back patch pockets, front yoke and pockets, button closures and top stitch details. And so I, not too long ago, made some an overalls. It was an overall dress. And so I did enjoy that. Brought me back to my high school days, you know, things of that nature. So, so this is certainly a pattern that I would consider. And so let's take a look at all the photos. And yeah, the only thing I would say about this pattern i mean I, I just think it's pretty straightforward it is a pretty thin you know slim type leg like i said i prefer wider but i think it would be okay uh, in the overalls so yes definitely an option here so then i've been having this pattern for a while this is simplicity 8301 it's an old mimi g um it isn't available on the simplicity website you can find them in some Joanne drawers, but for the most part, this is out of print, so you would have to purchase this on Etsy or Amazon or something like that, but it is out there and available on other sites. But this is a Mrs. Overall and dress pattern um, that Mimi G had put out a while back. I have this pattern, and I have been wanting to make the overalls for some time, the actual pants portion, but I have not done so. I personally think that they're cute. I do like the overall pants option or, or view better than I like the skirt. And it just could be because of how it looks here or maybe because it's too long, but that's just, you know, my personal opinion. But I do want to make these overalls. I don't know if I'm going to make them for the series because I haven't made my decision yet on like which pattern I'm going to use. It's a, it's a hard decision because I'm choosing from three different types of styles but yes this is certainly one that I really really like and here are the views so you know I, I really like the like roughly pleat detail here in the waist area I like how wide the legs are that's just like perfect and right up my alley so um, the pattern also comes with the crop top I won't be making that but just letting you know it is an option it's not considered an easy pattern I'm not really sure what it is rated but it is certainly a good option all right everyone so that is it for this episode of elevate with Ankara please let me know in the comments below which pattern was your favorite I really would appreciate your help because I have all these patterns to pick from and i have not made a concrete decision as to which pattern i want to move forward with but i do want to go ahead and get started soon so that i have you know adequate enough time to film and take my photos and things of that nature so definitely let me know your thoughts below again if you have not done so already please head over to sheree's channel so that you can check out her video and thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support if you enjoyed this video go ahead and click the like button go ahead and subscribe if you have not all done so already and i will see you in the next one bye